I'm Reuters columnist James Saff. Well, the jobs numbers are out, and they were extremely interesting. One thing's clear. Had the Fed gone ahead earlier this week with extraordinary measures, they would now look like they were far out on a limb. Job creation was much better than expected, but it was mixed. Unemployment went up. The broader measure of unemployment hit 15%, and both of those numbers look better than they ought to because labor force participation is still falling. So it's really quite a mix. One party that this makes things quite difficult for is the European Central Bank and the Eurozone for that matter. Europe almost certainly needs some sort of extraordinary monetary policy to help it at this point. And there's tensions within the ECB. They're working out how best to do that. It would be a lot better for Europe and probably for the global economy if we got something like coordinated easing. But this is going to make it a lot more difficult for the Fed to take part in that any time in the next month, six weeks. That means the pressure is going to be sorely back on the ECB to get itself in position, and we in the U.S. are probably going to have to wait for more data. This doesn't change the game, but it probably does retard things. The U.S. is not looking like it's immediately dropping into a recession, but the job market, if it's healing, is healing only very slowly.